Hello guys, today uh, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, cool and simple transportation system uh, by pipes. So player enters uh, enters the pipe and he's being transported along some path to the end. At the exit he's being thrown uh, and he can move uh, as previous so this is how how it works now I'm going to show you uh, how the whole thing will uh, look so at the root we will have uh, a, a node that will group other nodes other uh, scenes um, so we will need a path to the node, some kind of uh, scene uh, for uh, pipe entrance uh, and pipe exit. We will also need a follow path to the node as a child of this path and some kind of object that will actually uh, travel along that path. Uh, this object, I call it hook, will send its position it, send, it will send its coordinates uh, to the player so the player can be attached uh, to this uh, object okay so now we can start I will is this it? yeah I will switch to my uh, platform template as you can see mm, I already drawn some tiles for my pipe and okay so we can start first of all let's add uh, our grouping node I call it add, uh, I will add new scene call it pipe transportation mm. I will save this add a script now I will add I will make um, our pipe uh, entrance so add to the node pipe entrance we will need for this uh, uh, area 2D with collision shapes so let's add those collision shape add a shape and add a script save this mm. what else what else uh, oh, we will need also a pipe exit this is exactly the same as pipe entrance so add area to d setting up this as a child add a shape add a script and save uh, what else we will need we will need a, a object for hook so add node to d I will add a sprite for this uh, and I will use this goddot icon This is uh, just for uh, debugging uh, testing purposes. It can be disabled in at the end, so we won't exactly see the hook. We just need its position. Okay, let's save this. We don't need a script for now for this. And I think that's it. So we can write a script for our pipe. We will need to set up a few things. First of all, we will need to know uh, the speed of our of the flow in our pipe. So variable speed equals, for example, three hundred. 
I want I don't want my pipe to um, to start immediately when it's created so I need a variable to control this so I will start set this to false we don't need ready so yeah if start is true so if a um, player enters uh, the the pipe we need to change the offset of our follow path uh, so maybe here I will write some uh, shortcuts uh, so it will be easier to manage the code so on ready variable path on ready path will equal to get node path come on uh, here will be path follow follow I will explain this in a moment so uh, okay. and hook will be hook of okay so uh, So my path is uh, a child of pipe transportation so I will just need to get node path and since uh, the follow is a child of path I will need to get a uh, node from that so path equals follow path follow equals path uh, dot get node follow and the same for hook since it's a uh, child of follow which is child of path uh, I will just get the node from this path follow mm -hmm. path follow variable okay uh, in the process function function I need to change my path follow its, uh, offset and set its current offset add to it uh, the speed and multiply it by the delta so path follow set of set to its current offset plus get set current offset plus speed and multiply it by delta I will also need to send um, the hook position uh, to to player. So we'll declare declare a variable for player in a moment. Right now, let's write player. Uh, path hook it will be the position and uh, hook get the bar position this should work now we can uh, we can uh, write code for our pipe entrance for this we will need to add a signal to area 2d when player enters the, the pipe so if body name equals player we, we will set its pathful variable Oh, I think we will not need this. I 
actually. We need to start uh, the flow, so let's get parent of parent of the hook. No, uh, of the pipe entrance, and get the variable start and set it, this to true. And I think this will do. Very similar thing to our exit. When body exits the pipe exit. So if body name equals player get parent parent get and start to close. Oh, we also need to add other uh, add another variable. So body, we will set body on path to true. And here, body on path equals false. Okay, now let's uh, change the code for the player. We will need to add uh, variables on path to equal false variable hook path. Okay, hook path. And now over here, where where I have uh, my uh, movement, movement of my player so if body is on path uh, let's change his gravity to 30 and set a global position of the player to hook path else move it normally so let's check if this works so I need to add uh, by transportation Move it here and now let's add pipe entrance and pipe exit. And also, let's add maybe we'll add a hook already. Now, let's add a path to D, name it just path. Set by exit and entrance as ch children of this uh, node, and then add that follow to D and name it follow, and add a hook as a trial. Okay, so now we can draw actual path. I'm drawing, clicking the points. Now we can move our notes. This is the exit. Maybe scale this a little bit. Pipe uh, entrance. Move it over here and check. Well, let's check if that works. 
probably not. I can move, jump, and it's not working because I guess. Okay, this is because I need to initially set the um, set the path hook variable when player enters the pipe. So body uh, hook path will equal to. Um, we need to get the position of of the hook. So let's quickly and dirty get this information. Get parent. Get node. Call hook. Get global position and let's see now okay because this is a hook not hook path I think Okay, let's test this. Come on! Hook path, hook path. Okay, so... The thing was that I messed up the variable name, so it's path hook, not hook path. So let's check. Path hook over here, path hook over here. Yeah, and then exit. Going on. So let's test this now. I hope. And it works. So, important thing not to mess up the variable names. And I can move. Like, just like before. I hope you like it. I hope it will be useful for you. If you have any question, please ask them in the comments. I'll try to answer it as fast as I can. And see you in the next tutorial.